Welcome to Wolf Recaps. The movie opens up with Herman, the father of a noble family, cleaning the photo frame of his late wife. Herman is a rich guy and is living a lavish life. The movie revolves around the family, which consists of four members, Herman and his three children, Javi, Barbie, and Charlie. We learn that Herman's wife passed away a few years ago due to a health issue, and since then, the family has been relying on the money from her trust fund. Herman has been letting his children spend freely, fulfilling their desires to get out of the trauma of losing their mother. However, coming to this point he starts getting worried as he wants one of his children to eventually take over his business. In the next scene, we're introduced to Barbie, the only daughter of the noble family, who is in a relationship with Peter, a middle-aged guy 20 years older than her. It is revealed that he wants to marry her just for her wealth, as he has a significant tax debt. In the morning, for Barbie's birthday, workers arrive to decorate their house, and she recognizes Lucho among them. Lucho is the nephew of their family mate and used to live in their mansion servant quarters. Barbie used to tease and bother him during their teenage years, so Lucho doesn't like her. However, he has to obey her orders as she is the daughter of his employer. Next, we meet Javi, the middle child, who has a mild interest in taking over his father's business. When he's not partying with his friends, he pretends to work for the company. However, his ideas are often unrealistic and impractical, which gets criticized by his father's business partner, Kareem. In an attempt to boost Javi's confidence, Herman assigns him an important task to bid for a project the next day and also mentions that he will be awarded if he gets the project. Javi reluctantly agrees to take part in the program and walks away. Lastly, we encounter Charlie, the youngest son, who is a college student with a hipster lifestyle. He frequently skips classes, flirts with his teachers, and gets into trouble because of his behavior. Like his siblings, he enjoys partying and spends his parents' money without thinking that there is a tomorrow. In the next scene, while Herman is in his office with Kareem, he comes across a bill detailing his children's unnecessary expenses from the past month. Enraged, Kareem asks him to take it seriously and warns him about their careless spending habits. Meanwhile, Javi disregards his assigned task of bidding for a project and instead takes his friends on a trip to Miami. Before leaving, he hands over the project file to one of his father's employees and asks him to take care of the situation. In the evening, everyone arrives to celebrate Barbie's birthday. While welcoming and taking care of the guests, Barbie encounters Lucho. She approaches him and asks him to help clean a stain on her dress. Hesitantly, Lucho cleans it and mentions that she hasn't changed a bit since their earlier encounters. Right then, Herman also joins them and begins talking to his daughter. Peter notices them conversing and interrupts them, leading Herman and Barbie to a private room at his request. Next, Herman and Peter have a conversation where the latter asks Herman for his permission to marry Barbie. Herman expresses his concerns about what Peter does for work and how he will provide for his daughter and her needs. In reply, Peter mentions that he got his restaurant business closed nine months ago and is looking for an investor to start a new one. Barbie interrupts and assures her father that until Peter finds an investor, they will use her mother's trust fund. As soon as Herman hears this, he gets enraged and urges his daughter to stay away from Peter, pointing out that he is too old for her. Despite her mom's reservations about Peter, Barbie remains firm in her decision. She walks outside and announces their engagement, disregarding her father's worries. The following morning, Herman is already troubled by his daughter's choices, and his worries increase when he discovers that Javi skipped the important meeting he was assigned to. Soon after, he receives a call from Charlie's college dean informing him that Charlie has been expelled for being involved in a romantic relationship with a teacher. Herman tries his best to handle the situation but fails. Overwhelmed with stress, he experiences difficulty in breathing and is rushed to the hospital. In an attempt to make his children feel responsible for causing him trouble, he pretends to have suffered a heart attack when they come to visit him. However, to his disappointment, the siblings start arguing about a movie and show no concern toward him. Determined to teach them a lesson, Herman hatches a plan with Kareem to fake bankruptcy and send the three siblings to live in his father's old and abandoned house. In the next scene, Barbie is dining at a restaurant with a friend, Javi is partying with his friends as usual, and Charlie is attending a meditation class. After a while, Barbie tries to pay the bill with her card, but it is declined, which confuses her as she has never encountered this issue before. Right then, the siblings receive a call asking them to return home immediately because of an emergency. Wasting no time, all siblings gather at home. Here, they realize that their phones have been cut off, and a crowd is gathered outside demanding money from their father. Worried, Herman arrives and guides them to escape their own house by jumping over the fence wall. They then get into a car and drive away from the place. 
Once they're at a safe distance from the house, Herman reveals that he's been deceived by his sales manager, Kareem, who has run away with all the company's money. Hence, he is now financially ruined and wanted by the police for third-degree fraud. Furthermore, Herman adds that since the siblings are also shareholders of the company, the police are searching for them, forcing them to cut off contact with their relatives and friends and live in hiding. Finally understanding the gravity of the situation, the siblings accompany Herman to his father's old house, which is not listed as an asset of the company and cannot be tracked by the police officers. Soon, the family arrives at the house and finds it in very poor condition, with a broken roof and damaged furniture. The three siblings, who have only experienced luxurious hotels, are utterly horrified by the condition of the old house. Herman suggests renovating it gradually as they earn money. Later, they have a dinner of low-quality street food while discussing their financial situation. When asked how they will make money, Herman proposes that the siblings work for the first time in their lives. The next morning, we see the siblings sleeping on the floor when Herman wakes them up. After this, Barbie attempts to take a shower but finds that the faucet only releases dark, dirty water. She then resorts to using hand sanitizer to clean herself instead. Meanwhile, Javi reaches out to his friends for money, promising to repay them once their assets are accessible again. Unfortunately, his friends, who used to enjoy his lavish parties and praise his business ideas, refuse to help him. Moreover, they even mention that they were with him just to party and enjoy their time. Later, Barbie calls Peter to inform him that they need to postpone the wedding. Hearing this, Peter becomes upset and he even hangs up the call when Barbie asks for some monetary help. In the following scene, Charlie takes the initiative to search for a job at his father's request. He easily finds one and begins working. However, his boss, who originally intended the position for her niece, treats him rudely and threatens to fire him if he's caught doing any fraudulent activities. At the end of the day, the family reunites, each contributing whatever money they were able to collect. Barbie manages to earn the most but it's revealed that she sold Javi's watch to obtain the money. Shortly after, their royal maid, Maggie, and Lucho arrive at the house to offer their help. They also bring clothes for the family to change into. Lucho seizes the opportunity to trouble Barbie as payback for her past behavior. At his aunt's request, Lucho secures Barbie a job as a waitress at the restaurant where he works. When Javi inquires with Lucho if there's any work for him, he is offered a job as a public vehicle driver. On Javi's first day of work, Everything goes smoothly until another bus driver cuts in line and mocks him at the gas station. Meanwhile, Lucho brings Barbie to the restaurant where she's supposed to work as a replacement. However, she's disgusted to witness chefs spitting in customers' meals. After Lucho talks to his boss to confirm her placement, she is required to change into a uniform in a shared locker room. Barbie denies doing so, but in response, Lucho claims that the situation suits her unpleasant personality. As time passes, the siblings gradually adapt to their new life, taking care of their own cooking and cleaning. Although they face initial challenges, they quickly become accustomed to their responsibilities. Javi's rivalry with the bus driver continues for weeks, and one day, when he attempts to race the driver for a parking spot, the latter tricks him, and he's fined by traffic police. Barbie, on the other hand, struggles as a waitress and often acts rudely towards difficult customers, causing them to leave without paying. However, she eventually learns to use her charm to woo the customers and earn better tips. One day, Charlie makes a mistake at his banking job, and his boss calls him into her office. To his surprise, she threatens to fire him from the job, but when he starts begging, she suggests he rectify the mistake by being intimate with her and pulls him inside the office. The next morning, Herman catches Barbie in the bathroom attempting to induce vomiting to maintain her weight. He is shocked to discover that she's been battling bulimia since her college days and was diagnosed with a condition years ago. Barbie laughs, claiming that Herman never had time for his children, so she never expected him to care. This realization hits Herman, making him aware of his absence in his children's lives. Elsewhere, Peter discusses his missed opportunity to pay off his debts with a friend. He also reveals the details of the bankruptcy and Kareem's escape with the money. However, his friend doubts his claims, pointing out that Kareem is standing nearby, engaged in a conversation. When Peter sees him, he becomes shocked and decides to start an investigation the next day. Lucho accompanies Barbie to the market where they bond while shopping for restaurant groceries and sampling various street foods. Meanwhile, Javi finds his rival bus driver and initiates a fight, only to discover that they share a common interest in the books written by the same author. As they talk, they realize their shared ambition to start their own business and make it big. 
After working hard for several weeks, the family manages to collect enough money to begin renovating the house. Javi asks his father why he didn't sell the house and gets a reply that it's his father's last memory. During the process, Herman remarks on Javi's poor spelling skills, but to his surprise, Javi reveals that he is dyslexic and has undergone therapy for it, which Herman had paid for without realizing it. Overwhelmed by guilt for not paying attention to his children's lives, Herman is at a loss for words. The following day, the restaurant owner throws a party for the employees, and Barbie and Lucho share a dance that leads to a kiss. This time, Barbie manages to collect more tips than earlier and becomes happy. In the next scene, Peter arrives at the family's house and confronts Herman, claiming to know the truth behind his lies and threatening to expose him to his children. Herman tries to act bravely and refuses to comply with Peter but fails. Fearful that his children will despise him upon learning the truth, Herman asks Peter what he wants. Just then, Barbie returns home and overhears their conversation. Peter informs the family that Kareem has returned with the funds, and their bank accounts are once again functional. This means they can return to their previous extravagant lifestyle. The siblings are overjoyed to hear this, and they immediately rush to their luxurious apartment. Among all this, Herman finds himself blackmailed into silence, unable to reveal the truth. Next, the family prepares to leave, and Barbie meets Lucho outside. Despite their recent closeness, she feels obligated to remain loyal to Peter, who helped her in a difficult situation. She believes that Peter is the one who brought Kareem back and bailed them out of their miserable life. Hence, she reluctantly bids farewell to Lucho. The next day, Herman approaches Kareem at the office, seeking a solution. He wants to keep the secret from his children but is determined to prevent his daughter from marrying Peter. Meanwhile, Barbie starts shopping for her wedding, even though her heart isn't fully invested in doing so. She just feels indebted to Peter for his support and is doing all this for his sake. In the next scene, Herman and Kareem meet with Peter and a lawyer. Herman offers money to persuade Peter to walk out of his daughter's life, but Peter remains firm in his decision to marry her. Eventually, Herman is forced to sign a contract stating that Barbie's husband will have unrestricted access to her mother's trust fund. Herman signs the contract, hoping that Peter won't be his daughter's chosen husband. Following the meeting, he seeks out Maggie, the family's maid, for advice. After learning about the situation, she encourages her boss to reveal the truth to his children, explaining that the longer he hides it, the longer it will take for them to forgive him. Herman trusts her counsel and decides to do the right thing. Unbeknownst to him, Peter is proposing to Barbie during this time, urging her to sign the marriage papers without delay. Anxious and uncertain about her feelings, Barbie follows Peter's lead and accompanies him to the city hall. Meanwhile, Herman contacts his sons and asks them to meet him urgently. However, when he tries to call his daughter, Peter receives the call and reveals that he is about to marry his daughter. Wasting no time, together with Javi and Charlie, he rushes to the city hall to stop the wedding. Fortunately, they arrive just in time to prevent Barbie from signing the papers, and here Herman finally reveals the truth. He mentions that they were never bankrupt, and he lied to them to teach them the value of hard-earned money. Furthermore, he exposes Peter's motives, revealing that he's been blackmailing Herman for money. Furious with their father for lying, the siblings walk away without speaking to him. They then decide to move into the renovated old house on their own, refusing Herman's assistance and determined to build their lives independently. They work hard without their father's help and suggestions. Javi, along with his fellow bus driver, starts a successful car wash business. Later, when his old friends attempt to reconcile, he swiftly dismisses them. Similarly, Charlie finds a girlfriend his own age and enjoys a happy relationship. Barbie also reunites with Lucho and begins dating him. In the last scene, it's Barbie's birthday again, and the family gathers at the old house for a celebration. Right then, someone knocks on the door, and when Barbie answers, she sees her father standing outside. Initially, he wishes her a happy birthday and prepares to leave, but his children invite him inside. The movie ends with a noble family reuniting and enjoying the birthday party. Thank you for joining us on Wolf Recaps. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exciting recaps.